This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. It's worth just taking a moment before we step any further into our VBA skill set to explore the string data type and the date data type just a little bit more. The string data type can actually have as its setting fixed length strings or variable length strings. When you declare a string data type, let's create a little procedure. So string test. We declare them the same as any other data type, dim my name as string, and everything's happy. That is actually a variable length string and can actually contain about 2 billion characters. So it is pretty variable from 1 to 2 billion. If, however, and sometimes you will want to do this, you want to restrict the length of the string, so effectively it's a fixed length, therefore using a fixed amount of memory, we can do that with a string by declaring, so dim my fixed name as string, so that's the same as before. But then before we do the return, we do a little multiply sign, and then that's followed by the number of characters you wish to limit this string to. So it won't be able to hold any more characters than that. This is quite useful for holding data that is of a fixed length, such as a security code number or a product code number that is a fixed length and will always be that length. You can then fix the string to a certain width. This will actually help speed up your code slightly because Excel knows how much space that variable will use so it can allocate things more efficiently. So if I were to set my fixed name as a string and I wanted it to be 20 characters long, I would put times 20 and that would now be a fixed length string. It would only hold 20 characters. So let's take my fixed name and try and put my full name in there, which won't fit. So if we try to run that and see what we get, you see how it's truncated at the 20th character because that's all that variable can hold. So bear in mind that if you are using fixed length strings, they are useful for fixed length items, but where things are variable, like people's names that do vary in length, you would need to leave that as a variable string so that Excel can expand and contract as it sees fit. But where possible, I would certainly advise using fixed length strings if you know a field is of a fixed length, because that will help speed up the code, because Excel knows then what to do with that data type because it knows how much memory space to have for it so it knows where it can hold it. Previously we've just declared them as a string and that's it. Now we have two types of string, variable and fixed length. When you are fixing the length of a string, the maximum you can fix it to, so effectively restrict it to, is 65,526. If you are restricting to the thousands, the number you type here must be just digits. You can't put a comma in. So for example, if I wanted to restrict it to two and a half thousand digits, I can't put the two comma five hundred because we end up with a problem. It has to just be 2,500 with no comma, and it's happy at that, but that is a long name. Let's go back to 20. So dates. Dates have always typically been a problem for programming because they don't follow a decimal pattern, but we can get there and we can handle them if we use them correctly. When you're using dates in Excel VBA, you can use any dates between January the 1st, 100, and December the 31st, 9,999. So that's quite a big span for you to be able to assign dates to. But bear in mind that is the limit. You can't go any further back than January the 1st, 100, and it recognizes it as a date. Let's use a little procedure to look at some dates, date tests. Now we have the date data type, and that's where we would put our data. So we'll have dim my date as date, and we can use time as well, dim my time as date. But it's still a date type, it's not time type. So even if you're trying to use time within your VBA, you're still using date as the data type. But when you're assigning values to date variables, you need to use the hash delimiter. So when putting dates in, we need to open with a hash, then type the date. Now the date must be typed in regardless of the operating system or the regional settings you have. Date must be typed in in months, days, years. So if I want to put in October, 30th, 2012, I type it in that format, not forgetting to close off the hash at the end. And then time, so my time equals hash is required. Time is placed in the format of hours, minutes, and seconds. So if I wanted 13, 
25 and no seconds, not forgetting to close off the hash key again. And then we can output the date to see if that works. So let's do our date test. Works fine. And let's do time. Let's do this as a separate line rather than just changing that line. So we can just comment that one out. Remember how we did comments? Then when I run the date test, the my date doesn't come out, but my time should. My time, 1.25 p.m. So I've entered it in the 24 hour notation and notice that the VBA editor has changed it into 12 hour notation with a p.m. because I entered an afternoon time. So the biggest thing to remember really with time is entering any dates in month, day, year format, regardless of how you are going to see the dates and entering the time in hours, minutes and seconds. Again, regardless of how you're going to see that time and the hash must be your delimiter for dates and time options. When declaring the variables to hold dates or time, it's the same data type. It's always as date. There isn't an as time option.